This is the future. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Well, good morning and welcome back to my channel. And look at this lovely view. Yeah, I'm just outside the castle. And uh, I think it's time to go do some shopping. You know, I supply all the fruits and vegetables for this kingdom. And uh, I also need to go and do some shopping every now and again. So let us take the train and take a ride to the castle. So, I don't know how many of you guys know this, well, probably not, well, definitely not a lot because I had only like four views on the last video. Thank you very much for the four people that are dedicated to my channel. For you guys who did watch the last video about a week ago, you will remember that I completed the whole build. This is done. I completed the castle. And um, again, I was screwed over by YouTube uh, they did a, a manual evaluation or something whatever you want to call it of my channel and they found that one of the music that I got from a non copyrighted website is now suddenly copyrighted again and I was demonetized and since I'm not gonna allow anyone else to take money for my videos I decided to well, screw you all and I deleted the video permanently because there's no point in cutting out that song because if I cut out the song I cut out the comments and if I cut out the comments you're gonna sit for about three minutes in total silence looking at a video so there's no point in doing that I'm getting really kind of pissed off and sick and tired of music that I'm getting from audio labs and uh, uh, copy free websites that suddenly becomes copyrighted out of fucking nowhere and screwing with everything so as I am finding the old music and as they are be as they become copyrighted I delete the songs from my um, archives but it's gonna come to a point where I'm gonna decide to not put any background music in the videos anymore since I'm being screwed over every bloody time anyway I'm probably not even gonna I'm probably not even gonna get monetized for this video because I said fuck so fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, okay. Who gives a shit? Anyway, the purpose of this video is just to take a once-off walkthrough. The entire build, so that um, whoever didn't see the videos before, whoever didn't follow the step-by-step, -step, can just see what the completed product looks like. So, I do not expect a lot of views on this video. So, well, anyway. So let's take a walk upstairs and get out of this castle. For the ones who missed it, there was the treasury that we're going into. I'm still using the treasury up to now. Um, at this point, where um, I've explored the area a bit, and I discovered two treasure maps. One in a sunken pirate ship, and one in a ruined city that was underwater. And I found the treasures and I came and put the, the gold and silver in the chest. So that's why there's empty chests for whatever I discover. So I'm actually starting to fill up my chest with stuff that I discover in the world. Between the castle and the other two um, houses that I've built by now, I have discovered six nether gates, nether portals, which I fixed and activated. So, um... They almost come out at the same place in the nether, but uh, we'll discover or we'll explore the nether on another time. So what projects have I done since I've completed this one? Well, I've built my own pirate ship, which I will show you in another video. 
I've built a tree house including the actual tree because as you guys know trees do not grow in a certain way that you want it if you want the tree to build or to grow a certain way you have to actually build the tree from scratch so I build a tree and I build a tree house inside the tree it's something I wanted to do so I did it um, to the other side I've also discovered two very high cliffs that looks like this medieval you know in the movies and the cartoons we get the, the evil castles on those mountain areas I actually found that so I built a house on top of those cliffs so those are all stuff I will show you in the next video so as you guys can see this is the completed build we have the keep we have the aviary for some reason all the birds are coming together in one spot I don't know why but anyway those uh, vines have grown very nice and tall and well this is the aviary Let's see what's happening at the training arena. Oh look, we've got two soldiers that's about to spar or train in the training arena. Let's see what's happening in the animal sheds. So we've got wolves now and these wolves are trained for war. You can send them behind enemy lines to go and eat up the enemy. <laughs> and because it's Halloween, we've got some skeleton horses here. These horses can go on forever. They are undead and you can use them for anything. It's good to have. And you don't have to feed them at all. It actually saves you money. On our left hand side we have the dormitories, training area and the armory with the barracks. So let's put down some two guys and they clearly don't want to stay here because they are close to the forge. So we have two blacksmiths now as you guys can see they uh, come into the area and then suddenly they transform into blacksmiths that's the quickest apprenticeship I've ever seen so at the forge we've got now two people that's able to make us our armor and the barracks clearly doesn't have anyone in it at the moment so I'm trying to spawn some villages and stuff as I go along because the place was totally too empty So let's carry on. Now we're done with the whole military section. Let's get into the village. I had a lot of villages here, but they all disappeared. Um, the villages disappeared, the cats disappeared. So uh, the only thing that actually remained was the iron golems. So I'm going to respawn this village and see how it goes. Welcome to the main entrance for carts and goods. So if you have a cart and goods, you can go down this main road. This main road will take you straight down to the stables and to the marketplace where you can offload your goodies. On our left hand side is of course the village. On our right is our hospital. And in front of us is the jail. And just behind the jail you will find the cathedral. So for the guys who's followed the step-by-step -step videos, you know, you, you guys know what the houses and everything looks like on the inside. So we're not going to do that now. We're just going to spawn some people so we can fill up our village. And then um, if you want to see what the houses look like inside and how the designs was made, please go back and follow the rest of the videos or the previous videos that I show step-by-step -step how every component was built or completed. And hey, they get a, they get an upgrade. So for now, I'm just gonna walk through the the village and spawn some people. To save us some time, I'm just gonna high speed it here. Um, to walk a normal speed through the entire build takes more than half an hour, and I don't want to take up that much of your time. So I'm just high speeding it. 
since we're at the, uh, at the cemetery, let's put in some ghosts and ghouls. I mean, it is Halloween, isn't it? So I did get a spawn egg for a ghast and a phantom. So let's put up a phantom to make it even more creepier. I know they won't survive for the daytime, but at least for tonight, we'll have some ghosts inside and a ghast. So that makes it just a bit more spookier. Anyway, I'm gonna go out of the cemetery now, find a place to sleep so we can get the sunlight back, and then we'll continue the tour. <sighs> it's the next morning, and we still have to put a villager in the house. No problem, guys. And let's continue our tour. Okie dokie, on our right hand side we've got the cathedral, nice and big cathedral, and then in front of us is the, the business hub, the business area of the whole build. We have a blacksmith, a smith, that actually disappeared because there was two people here before, but I was attacked by um, villagers a few times while I was doing this build and I think they killed most of my um, people. There's the bathhouse, which we're not going to go into. We've got our stables, where you can put your horses after you've come for a long journey. And you can have your horses being watered. Oh, wow. There's still two people here. Okay. I wondered where everyone was, so not everyone was killed. In, uh, let's see. Hi Bean, hi June. How's it hanging? We've got our inn where you can stop and have something to eat. Oh, bloody Enderman. And a place to sleep in the inn. We have someone in the inn now, at least. We've got a well where you can get your main water. We have the big boarding house. Let's put a couple of people in here. I don't know why the doors are all open. Just shut the doors. And uh, spawn some people. Here we have our pub and grill. So we can put some people in here. <laughs> this guy followed me. He's clearly very, very thirsty. Look, he's jumping up and down. Where's my drink? Where's my drink? I want something to drink right now. And the guy's just like shaking his head, like, oh, this guy again. As you know, down here is the eatery where the guys can enjoy nice meals. If they don't want to stay upstairs, they can come down here for nice food. And these guys are going straight for the food. Okay. We've got some hungry villagers in here, it seems to me. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Up on this level we have the actual marketplace. Let's put some Oh man, it's just they don't want to stay where they're supposed to stay. And let's put some people in here. Either they're going to be the people selling or they're gonna be the people buying. We've got our wishing well, our good luck golem thingy there. And let's see if I can put some more people in here. We've got the food court in ahead of us, and we've got another golem stuck inside the freaking fountain. I don't know what he's doing in there. Maybe I should just kill him or get him out. Problem solved! Okay, let's continue to the main entrance. This is your main entrance from the street side. 
where you can enter with the working port colors. This is also the only working port colors that I've built because it took me, if I remember, three days to get the thing to actually work. So uh, I was not in the mood for building this entire mechanism again on all, any of the other gates. So let's just assume the other gates can also open and close. But this was my first successful gate that I built that was actually opening and closing. So then, yeah, it's closed. So yeah, this is then the entire build. I'm just going to go through on the castle walls because the castle walls surround the whole area and go back to the keep. Ah yes, and don't forget our third entrance into the castle is from the docks. So if you're coming by ship, here you can see the harbour master and you can also offload your goodies here. And uh, from here they can be taken to the marketplace. So there are three entrances into the area. One for carts, one for ships and one if you're just coming in as a visitor. So guys, this is the entire build. It took me about a month to do. It's really big. If, if I really want to take my time and walk through everything, it takes me more than half an hour just to do that. So for the guys who did follow me while I was busy with the step-by-step -step build and so on, I want to thank you guys a lot. It really means a lot that you've actually spent some time watching it. I know it was a long build. I know it was like irritating at, at one point and I think that's why most of the guys didn't even bother to watch the keep. But everything is done. So I'll show you guys the, the new stuff that I've built in the next video when we get to that. So here's just a nice view and an overview for you guys. You have come to the point of the video where you know the cliche by now. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my future uploads. And if you like this video and you like this build, give me a thumbs up because it means a lot for the analytics and it is also for the channel to grow. For the guys who um, stuck around watching the previous videos, as I've said before, thank you very much. It really means a lot to me. And uh, I really wanted to try this project. It was a big project. I really didn't know it's going to be so big. I didn't know it was going to take so long. And yet, here we are. Everything is done. This was my first build, my first house that I've built when I came to this new world. And from this point on, I'm just going to go and explore. Uh, which at this point I've actually done and I've discovered like I said sunken ships I've discovered treasure maps which I've actually found and one of the treasures were actually right next to my castle believe it or not it wasn't even far from my castle I've discovered some very interesting locations that I've started to develop and I've also discovered about six nether gates between here and the other places that I've built I just want to go and explore to the north and south and um, see what I can find there, if there's anything interesting there to develop. And once I've developed those areas, I will show you guys everything that I've built within the last two weeks. Or well, actually last week, this, the, the castle keep was brought out seven days ago. So guys, until next time, whatever you do, keep it safe. And until next time, cheers.